I'm WSA 9 Weather Watch Meteorologist Topper Shot. We've got a lot going on in the tropics. So we have uh, Tropical Depression 9, which more than likely will become Tropical Storm Ian, not Hermine, Ian uh, over the weekend. That's Fiona headed toward the Canadian Maritimes and will move out to the east. And we've got, you know, a couple things. We've got uh, Gaston. Uh, and we've got another disturbance here, and then this is Hermine. So Hermine actually uh, beat the other depression to the punch and became uh, a tropical storm first. Okay, so as Fiona heads toward the Canadian Maritimes, I mean, the good news is the water temperatures are cooler, but the bad news is, you know, not too far offshore, water temperatures are still 79 degrees. So it's going to have a pretty good source of moisture for a while until it gets a little closer to uh, Halifax. Now, in terms of the... Uh, you know, the wave heights still 40, 40, 45 feet uh, and, that's, and it's destined to still produce waves that high as it makes landfall in the Canadian Maritimes. It's going to be a pretty big storm. So because of that, of course, they have hurricane warnings out, tropical storm warnings out. This is Saturday morning. It's moving across just kind of the east of Halifax and then it kind of moves in between Halifax and St. John's. And this is, you know, even Sunday morning at two o'clock, it's going to be a cold core storm, no doubt, but Winds are still 65 miles per hour, and even Saturday afternoon, winds are still 80 miles per hour, so probably a cold core hurricane uh, by then. But still a very, very strong storm and still capable of uh, setting the record low pressure uh, for the Canadian Maritimes. We will see. Keep an eye on that. Here are the, here are the warnings. So the red is hurricane warnings and the uh, yellow are tropical storm warnings. And that looks like that's about where they should be, uh, given the track of the uh, storm. All right. Now, we will talk about this other system which is going to become Ian. Here's the spaghetti plot again, a little closer together. OK, they were really fanned out a couple days ago. One still takes a storm over the southern tip of uh, Florida. The bulk of the uh, models, though, and remember, each line is a computer model, uh, takes it toward Tampa. It's hard to get. Tampa rarely gets a direct hit, but even if it doesn't get a direct hit, uh, we're looking at a pretty uh, in intense storm especially if it sits just to the uh, west of Tampa and Tampa ends up with the northeast quadrant over over. That would be uh, devastating. So here are the computer models. The yellow is the American model. Red is the European model. That is Monday. So they're pretty close there. OK, by Tuesday, they're pretty close, although the European model has definitely been favoring an easterly track really all week. By the time we get to say Wednesday, European model says it's going across Florida. Your GFS says, wait a minute, it's still offshore. It's not make landfall yet. Uh, by Thursday, now we have the European taking it across back into the Atlantic, and the uh, GFS still has it in, in the Northeast Gulf of Mexico as a pretty big storm. Uh, that's a Thursday. So we will uh, keep you posted. Again, the storm's going to develop, but the devil's in the details. Right now, Hurricane Center is favoring a, a path kind of over western Cuba and then curving it back toward Tampa as a cat three. That's by Wednesday night at 10 o'clock. So winds could be 111. Oh, it should be 115. Cat three is 111 or, or higher. So that would be our second major storm uh, of the season. And again, that is 10 o'clock on Wednesday night. So this could be a big storm. Uh, again, we're going to see just what track it takes. It'll, it'll come into better focus as we get once the storm develops and once it uh, starts to track to the north. So here's the category three, 111 to 129. OK, so it's it's going to be a, a low end cat uh, three. And remember, you know, Fiona was a cat four with winds 130 and gusts to 160. OK, now the names. So we're at Hermine. So the next one in Q is going to be Ian. That should be the storm that ends up in the Gulf of Mexico. Now the forecast, you know, Forecast was 14 to 20 named storms, 14 is average, 6 to 10 of those were forecast to become a hurricane, and 3 to 5 of those were forecast to become major, so 111 or higher in terms of wind speed. Uh, 3 is average, and 7 is average for a hurricane. So we are uh, cooking, so to speak, in the tropics. Don't think we're going to make all of those numbers, but numbers don't matter. It just matters if one makes landfall in the U.S., and we are concerned about what will become Hurricane Ian.